Hi guys! So right now, let's go ahead and proceed with our next topic. We will be learning about 7 segment display in Arduino Robotics. I also would like to um, remind everyone that um, just to um, give you a, uh, a word of encouragement or a motivation about this topic, this topic it's quite tricky because of the connection however once you completed the task once you were able to understand the wirings um how to code it basically this is very very fulfilling okay i want you to listen carefully and i want you to follow just like what i did okay so right now um let's start understanding what is a seven segment a seven segment or ssd or seven segment indicator or display is a form of um let me use my pen uh, it's a form of electronic display device for this uh, for displaying decimal numerals that is an alternative to the more complex dot matrix displays i know that you've noticed this one because um, mostly in uh, mandawi traffic lights um, they are using this one also in Cebu City. Um, currently, um, Cebu City is also um, using this kind of um, this kind of dot matrix displays, uh, where you can see how many seconds um, you're gonna wait for um, for you to uh, for you to, uh, for you uh, for the go signal to turn back on or uh, you need to wait for how many seconds you need to um, um, to go, right? So in seven segments, we have two types. We have common cathode by the word itself, cathode. This is negative because of the ground that you will use. And also the common anode. We have the VCC or the 5 volts or the voltage. And basically in my project right now, um, I will show you um, a common anode um, example. Okay, please take note as well, guys, that I'm um, here. In the display for this one, this one it's an A, this one it's B, this one it's C, this one it's D, E, F, and G. Okay, those are the displays or those are the indicators um, of the letters. Okay. In the connection itself, after the VCC, which is in the middle of the five pins above and also the five pins below, after the middle to the right, it's actually the A. This is the B. Okay. Next, this is the C. Please don't connect anything from the DP. Okay. Next, the C, the D. So A, B, C, D, E. The next to the left from the middle top part, it's F and the G. I know that for the first uh, for uh, first time um, doing this, um, you're quite confused where to put um, where to put the connections. But don't worry, as long as you have this um, example or as long as you have this kind of figure, um, um, you will be guided. Okay. So for our project, let's go ahead for uh, let's go ahead and do our project because this is quite um, interesting and also this is long discussion. Okay, so we need to use breadboard of course, the Arduino Uno microcontroller. We need to use ten connecting wires. So expect that magalibat um, libat um, yudani because of the wires. And aside from that, it's the seven segment. So let me show you right now. Okay, let me create a new circuit. One moment. Okay, just like earlier, it's still loading. So I will show you guys a common anode. So basically anode, it's positive. So we will be getting um, the signal or we'll be getting all of the charges from your uh, from our 5 volts or from our positive charge okay so let's start by using um, getting the Arduino board
Okay. One moment. I don't know what happened. Oh, what happened? Let me refresh it. One moment. wrong there you go okay so I need to delete this I need to delete it oh okay one moment I'll be changing this one to project 5 and this is 7 segment sorry sorry for the spelling okay next one seriously okay there so let me do it again it seems that we had a problem earlier okay let me just remove um, all of these um, all the connecting wires first one moment okay there we go okay let me enlarge it okay next one so since we are uh, we, since we will be using a seven segment one moment okay Okay, this is the seven segment so let me put it here in the middle so take note you can actually change this one to common cathode but for now I'll be using the common anode okay so since I'll be using a common anode I will be getting my um, my signal coming from the 5 volts or coming from the positive charge of my Arduino board Okay, one moment. There you go. I need to adjust this one. Okay, I'll be changing this one to red since that is a positive charge. But again, it it really um it's really up to you. So resistor. Need to use a resistor since uh, there will be a lot of connections needed for this one. Okay, I need to rotate this. Okay, there you go. So after this, I'll be creating another connection going to the first. Wait, uh huh. Here, I will start from the middle on the top part. Here we go. There. So I will be changing this one again to red. Okay, so I already have a connection um, from my 5 volts going to the top part of my 7 segment, right? Okay, next, I also need to have a connection from this one because we need to share the connection from the top going to the bottom part of our there here we go there so basically um all of our poles from above and also um from the below from below um, contains a positive charge right now okay let's proceed um let's start by uh, since this is a i will be using or i'll be putting a digital pin from the arduino I'll be putting everything here, okay? And I'll be assigning color. Um, um, this is uh, blue, for example, blue. Okay, next, since I'm done with blue, I'll proceed with number three. So again, um, take note, guys, that... Um, wait. Take note guys that 
uh, I'm already on the process of assigning or putting some uh, putting wirings or um, connection from the A, B, C, D going to G. So I'm starting on the A, then I use the digital pin 2. Okay, let's proceed to digital pin 3, and this should be connected to the uh, B. This is B. Okay, so I'll be changing the color for this one to yellow, for example. Okay. Oh. Okay, there. So that is yellow. So I'm done with the A, with the B. How about the C? For the C, I'll be using digital pin 4. I'll be using digital pin 4. Then, wait. Wait a moment. It should be on the right side at the bottom part, middle bottom part of the VCC. Okay, there. And I'll be changing this one. Ah, yeah, no need. I'll be using the green along instead. Again, guys, you can actually change the color of the pins. It's really up to you. But for me, I'm just using or selecting a different colors available in Tinkercad. So I'm done with A, B, C. Let's proceed to D and E. So to D, I'll be using 5, 5, okay, for this one, this should be, for example, uh, I'll be using gray, okay, so I'm done with A, B, C, D, um, how about for E, I'll be using um, digital pin 6, okay, one moment. There we go. So for this one, um, I'll be using color orange, for example. There. So the remaining, uh, the remaining pins that I need to connect, it's the F and the G. So the F, it's actually here on the left side after the VCC or the uh, um, voltage on the top part so this is f then this is g okay um you've noticed that i put it here because again um um if i'll put something in here or in here it contains the same um, pole or it contains the same um charge right so i'll be putting uh, i'll be using seven digital pin and i'll be assigning that one going to f this is f the color of my f uh, for example i'll be using uh okay pink there and lastly for the g i'll be using um eight digital pin eight one moment there so since i use that i'll be changing this one to brown for example okay so I believe, let me double check my connection. Okay, we're good. Okay, I believe that um, the connections are all set. Let's proceed encoding it. So let me go ahead and choose text so that I can see the Arduino here. So this time, um, I will be assigning, um, I'll be um, creating a variable for pin A. For example, it, since I use A here, which is the blue wire, I use the um, digital pin 2. So on and so forth. B, this is 3. And pin C, this is 4. And uh, pin D, this is 5. And pin E, this is 6. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. And pin F7. And G. This is 8. 
Okay. There, I already assigned um, all the pins or all the variables. So since digital or seven, um, since the seven segment indicator or display, um, the purpose of that one, if you will talk about pin mode, um, it's all output. Okay, we are not letting the user input something or to navigate something from the seven segment. So we will be using pin mode. For example, pin A, then output. All I need to do for this one, I'll just need to copy and paste it so that, oh god, sorry, my mouse, it's not working well, so, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, changing this one to B, C, D, E, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so, I only have, sorry, okay, let me see there so right now so since i'm just to let you know guys since i'm using a um a common anode deba your we are used to for example if we will switch on or um switch on or turn on the led light uh we use digital pin then the led or for example um two then comma then high since we are using a common anode, it's actually quite opposite. So if you want to make the light or this uh, or the display to turn on, you need to use low. Okay. So for that one, I'll be showing you, for example, the purpose of this. This is for zero. So of course, in countdown and timer, we will start, for example, with zero going to nine. So, if you want to um, do a countdown from 9 to 0, you can also do that one here. But for now, we will do, uh, we will start with 0. So, digital, right, next, uh, start with pin A. So, the pin A, this is the A. Again, guys, this is the A for the display. So, pin A, it should be low. Next, let me copy and paste how about for the pin b of course it should be low so that it will turn on or switch on next pin c it's the same i think it um only the pin g it's high right or only the pin g here in the middle it's the only um indicator only the display that um the light it's not on okay so basically, on that one, we can just um, C, D, C, D, E, F. So in G, we will change this one to high. Okay, so let's try it. Let's test it if this will work. So let's start simulating. Okay there it's working right so let's put some delay for example one second only there okay um let's go ahead and use the um create the one so for one um since the one only the a b b and c it's high or sorry only the b and the c it's low b and c it's low so this is high this is high this is high this is high okay high so let's try it simulating it zero oh what happened there's another um a b c d e a b c d e f g oh what happened to e one moment a a b c d e f oh i forgot the f that's why e f hmm 
this is F E F this should be low one moment this should, no it's not low it should be high okay there so let's start simulating it zero one zero one okay let's go ahead and proceed with the two for two of course for two um one uh, a b g e and d right so we need to start with a i oh, know a b uh, a sorry a it should be low of course b it should be low g it should be low then a b um, a b c c it should be high c d okay d should be low e should be high f should be low no e should be um, a b c d e so e should be low e should be low okay then a b c d e f f should be high okay let's test it so start simulating it zero one two there so how about for three let's proceed with number three so for three okay for three so three it's a one uh, a b g c and this one a b c d a a b c d okay a b c d a b c d then g okay a b c d and g this is high okay there let's try it a zero one two okay there we go we're doing fine how about for um let's proceed i'll be using this one along instead let's proceed with number four okay for number four um i'll be using b g and f f okay so f should be um low this should be oh that's why the g here should be high okay so that it will turn off for this one um four this is number four so f should be low correct g should be low correct um b should be high this should be high b should be low correct and c should be low so d should be high e as well should be high okay so let's start simulating it so zero one two three four there we go so let's proceed and do the wait oh, wait for a while I'm um, five six seven eight five six seven eight nine this is five for five of course this is low F as well low F as well should be low G should be low so only the B should be high and E should be high okay so let's proceed to six six 
Okay, 6. Only the B, it's high. Only the B, it's high. Okay, next, um, 7. For 7, okay. So, it's the same as number 1, but we'll be adding A. But we will be adding the A to make it low. So that it will turn on, on this part. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, for 8, let's proceed to 8. Oh, okay. So I think for 8, it should be all low. This is correct. Let's proceed to number, sorry. Let's proceed to number 9. For number 9, uh, for number 9, I believe only, only this one. So A, B, C, D, E. E, it should be the high. Let me double check. So let me start simulating it. Let's see. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, what happened to 5? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I think I inserted... Oh, okay. This one. Okay. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yay! So, hopefully you were able to understand our topic about 7 segments and also potentiometer. Thank you guys!